Audi is most definitely a car company with the wind in its sails right now. And this latest creation, the frankly rather scary looking RS5, could well be its crowning glory. For this is a car that has 444 bhp, thanks to its 4.2 litre V8, and which can do 174 miles an hour if you pay Audi enough to unleash its electronic limiter. It also has a seven speed dual clutch gearbox as standard alongside one of the most sophisticated four wheel drive systems ever seen in a road car. And so we come to the potentially thorny issue of price. Well, this is where it gets interesting because at £54,000, the RS5 is undeniably more money than its obvious rivals from Mercedes and BMW. But it has miles more equipment and it has more power. So in theory, it could be the best of the lot. Well, theory is one thing, but what is this car actually like to drive? Let's go through it in its individual components, break it down and see just how good the RS5 actually is. Well, before we even talk about what the steering is actually like, you first of all have to decide which mode of steering you want to put the car in, between comfort, auto and dynamic. Now, that's a nice touch. However, even once you've decided that I personally like it in comfort, which gives you slightly lighter power assistance, even once you've decided that, I still don't think it is the world's most wonderful steering. It's very accurate. You can be very precise with your inputs and you can steer it you know, beautifully round corners, but there is not a lot of feel through the rim, and that is a shame. But, having said that, an M3 doesn't have a lot of feel through its rim either. The brakes. This car has optional carbon ceramic discs fitted to it, and in extremis they work beautifully. This thing weighs 1,750 kilograms, and it stops pretty much on a sixpence. But, again, there's a slight issue with the feel. I just don't quite trust the feel through the pedal, particularly under light loads, and it just makes it difficult to modulate smoothly when you're driving not that quickly. So, gearbox. This is where it gets very interesting, because I happen to think this thing has a fantastic gearbox. It's a seven-speed double clutch. That's the first time Audi have put a proper double clutch in any RS model, and it works fantastically up or down the gears, you can change so fast and so smoothly and so precisely, I cannot see why you would want to change gear manually. The engine, 4.2 V8, 444 bhp. And I have to say, I think this is the best bit about this car overall. It is blinding, this engine. It is powerful, it's torquey, it revs to 8.2, it sounds the nuts. Just listen to this. Wow. So the last thing to talk about, I guess, is the chassis. Obviously, with four-wheel drive, the traction is incredible. But also, amazingly, for an Audi, and for an RS Audi in particular, this thing rides really quite well, especially if you put it in comfort mode. That's a surprise. Now, on the road, there's no question this thing handles really nicely, but I think to make a proper final judgment, we need to go to a track. And there happens to be one of those just up the road. Well, I'm on about my 10th lap of the Ascari circuit here, and I have to admit, I'm having an absolute ball in this car, and I really didn't expect that. The RS5 really handles nicely doesn't feel anywhere near as heavy as the stats say it is. It turns in really nicely, stops well. Fantastic traction. I mean, this is the second gear hairpin and we just fire out of there. That's really impressive, but the way the engine and gearbox blend so nicely with the, with the handling and the steering and the brakes, They've really pulled one out of the bag here, Audi. I love this car. Okay, marks for handling. I'd say eight and a half, maybe even a nine. And marks overall, it has to be a nine. This is a blindingly good car. What a surprise, what a car.